guys, what is up? Mr. Potato Does MC here, and today I'm showing you how to install damage indicators for Minecraft 1.6.4 or 1.7.2 whenever Forge comes out. I'm not sure if it's out already, but yeah, let's get into this tutorial. First, you want to uh, open up your web browser. I'll have the two links in the description below. First, you want to first you want to uh, take you to this Forge page. If you already have Forge, you can just skip. There'll, there will be an annotation, right? There will be an annotation right here. To say, tell you where to skip, whatever. Okay, you want to scroll down all the way. Well, not all the way down, but you want to click Download AdFly Recommended Installer. Okay, it's going to take you to an AdFly page, of course, because AdFly is awesome. Yeah. Have uh, the two links in the description below. And so 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 sorry I didn't post I haven't been posting videos for a while. Um we've just we've just been doing family some family stuff and yeah. Okay, you just wanna click download then it's gonna take is it gonna download? Because Okay, you just click okay. And then you just wanna go I'll have this in the description below. You want to scroll down. What was that? Alright, whatever. You want to scroll down. And yeah, you can see the th damage indicator thing. You want to scroll down. And you want to click. See this big text in red. It's right under it. Damage indicators. Uh, bracket 1.6.x. Bracket V2.9.1. Point six. Okay, you want to click download on that. Okay, just download. It's gonna take you to another AdFly page. Then you're just gonna wait five seconds. Wait five seconds. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Okay, just want to skip ad and yeah, it's gonna save as a. I think it's gonna save as a dot zip file. Wait, I'm not too sure. Yeah, are you gonna save at all? Just download. Sorry guys, my computer's slow. It only has two gigabytes of RAM. I don't know. It's gonna, okay, it's gonna take apparently take you to this page. I did not know that. You're just gonna click that. Hopefully it'll work. Just click damage download damage indicator for V1.6.4, V2.9. Point one point six point zip or dot zip or whatever. Just download. Sorry, have stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys. Call you to do this. We don't need ads. We don't need ads. We don't need ads. I said ad. A D S ads. Okay, if this ever loads, but whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna take a. Once you have, once once Forge is finished downloading, you want to take the Forge, double click it, click open, and just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, okay. You want to click OK, and but since I already have it installed, uh, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. This ever work? I am going to pause this. Okay, whatever, it's finished. See, that should pop up. I'm gonna pause this until it's finished downloading. Okay, guys, it's finally done. You just wanna take your 1.6.4 damage indicators. But first, you want to open up your... Wait a second, I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay, guys, sorry for that weird thing. Uh, someone walked in. Okay, so you want to open up your Minecraft launch. You want to open up your Minecraft launcher, and you want to click, click this, and then click Forge. Okay, I gotta type in some stuff. Be right back. Oh wait, I'm still recording, huh? Wow. Okay, that was embarrassing. I thought I paused. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I thought, literally thought I just paused it. Okay, once you selected Forge, you want to click Edit Profile. You want to scroll all the way down until you find Release 1.6.4 Forge. Uh, the reason why all these other Forges are here is because I have installed it a bunch of times. Okay. Oh, and this helps a lot if you're having troubles with Minecraft, it's lagging, and Say if you have a lot of RAM, I don't have that much RAM, but say, say that um, you have like 4 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, or 8, or whatever. You want to take half of that, I usually just do this. 1500 megabytes, that's 1 megabyte, and I mean 1, that's 1 gigabyte, and half a gigabyte. I only have 2 gigs of RAM, so if you only have 2 gigs of RAM, 1500 megabytes works fine for me. Okay. Oh, whatever. Okay, you just want to click Save Profile. You want to open it. It's going to take a long time for your, for, um, your Forge to load because, uh, wait, is there a special Minecrafter in your life who would appreciate the gift of merch? Jeez. Oh, whatever, I didn't read that fast enough. Whatever. Okay, you just wanna, okay, uh, wait, what was I saying? I just started, sorry, I'm ADD. Okay, okay, so, I forgot, I forgot what I was saying, oh, crap. Okay, uh, so, after a very long process, uh, it's gonna take you a while for it to load, but you just do whatever. My lizard is staring at me, and yes, I have a lizard. Okay, uh, I already have some mods installed, so that's why it says that. So once this is loaded, you want to just quit game. Okay, and then you just want to open up Finder. Uh, click on your name, library, application support, and then Minecraft. Or if you don't have that, you can just click go and go to folder. Uh, I'll have this and the description below you can paste that in click go and then it'll take you to this then you'll have a mods folder then yeah then there's gonna be all those other things you should want to drag your damage indicator mod in there but since i already have it in there right there you can see it since i already have it i'm not gonna do that so you can just delete these thing well you, you don't delete this because it'll be in your mods folder okay just, you could delete forge whatever you want to click quit that and then you want to open up your minecraft okay and it should um open up faster now okay just want to make sure it says profile forge ready to play minecraft 1.6.4 forge and then all the other numbers and crap right there okay Stupid thing won't load. Oh yeah, and that's uh, it was pack. I just, I just got. Uh, that might be in my um, my what you call it? Okay, boom, seven watt. Okay, uh. Once that's loaded, and then you just click mods, and you scroll down until you see. Well, you don't really have to scroll down, but I, had to, I do. See these damage indicators, just to show that it works. That's my um, superheroes unlimited mod test. Let's just go to my Let's Play world. Uh, I'll full screen it in a second. Second, yeah. So there's a glitch thing. Whenever I um. I try to full screen this, it like glitches out and uh, I have to reopen it. Okay, so yeah. I have this. Uh, I just have to wait. This is something I like to do. I put my cursor on the zoom thing and I press escape. Then, then while I'm walking, just press that and then boom, it full screens it. Okay. If you have that problem, just do that. Let's find a mob. Just any mob. Let's find a mob. A mob. Oh, 
Okay, there's that skeleton over there. And yeah, as you can see, it, the damage indicator works. Uh, this is where a bunch of creepers blew up and killed me. And apparently, they broke my sword. And ah! Oh crap! Oh crap! Why'd I press E? Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this. I almost said let's play. And let me turn my freaking volume down. Okay, uh, bye, bye guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if this works. Rate, comment, subscribe. And yeah, share on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you, social media you have. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Mod Monday.